Hey there, my name is Kevin, and as part of the new products team here at Greg Distributors, I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Gear Up with Greg's. Today, we are going to be discussing electrical sockets and plug connectors, and how you can be sure that you are choosing the right one. Okay, let's start with the basics. There are two sides to every connection, a plug and a connector. The plug, or attachment plug, is the male end, the side that establishes a connection when it is plugged into something. The connector, or cord connector, is the female end, the side that allows for an attachment plug to be plugged into it. On pictographs, like the one we have in our catalog, shaded images represent male plugs, while unshaded images represent female connectors. Another way you can figure out if you're reviewing the specifications for a male plug or female connector is by taking a closer look at the NEMA configuration number. All things electrical are governed by NEMA, the National Electrical Manufacturers Association. You'll notice that each plug and socket are divided into NEMA configurations such as 5-15P. These configurations were put in place to prevent users from connecting the wrong combination of cords, receptacles, connectors or plugs which could cause a potentially hazardous situation. If all manufacturers decided independently how they wanted to make their electrical devices and connectors, no two products would work together unless they are made by the same manufacturer. In order to avoid this situation, NEMA created the numerous configuration standards we have today, based on several common characteristics including style, voltage, number of phases, and amperage. Style is represented by the first character in the NEMA configuration. Either an L is shown or nothing is. An L means the connector plug is twist locking. These types of devices can be rotated once connected, latching them in place and eliminating the risk of accidental disconnection. No character in this position of the NEMA configuration just means the device is a straight blade style. Convenient and common, but easily disconnected. The second character in the NEMA configuration actually stands for the configuration number itself. Here at Greg's we carry configurations 5, 6, 14, 15 and 16. Each of these configurations have their own specific uses. For instance, NEMA 5 devices are three wire grounding devices, the most common electrical receptacle in North America. So they should seem pretty familiar to you. If you're not sure what NEMA configuration you need for your application, be sure to ask a qualified electrician. The NEMA configuration number also identifies the voltage and whether a device is single phase or three phase power. Looking at the chart and pictograph we have in our very own catalog, you can see exactly what voltage and phase is on each device. Let's take a look at the L14-30P for instance. It has a rating of 125 slash 250 volts as do the other NEMA 14 devices. Looking at the pictograph, we can see that each prong is labeled W, X, Y, and G. Each of these letters represent which wire should be connected to that prong. G is the ground wire, while W is the neutral wire, X, Y and Z all represent hot or live wires, which can be configured differently depending on if it is single phase or three phase connector. As you can see on the L14-30P, there is no Z present, so we can then determine that this is a single phase device. Now, the L15-30P also has a rating of 250 volts, but on the pictograph, you can see that it has prongs labeled X, Y, Z and G. Because all three are there, this is a three phase device. Back to the NEMA configuration. The first number after the dash will be a two digit number, which indicates the amperage. Different equipment requires different amperage, so be sure you know what you are connecting these devices to before installing one and potentially creating a hazard. The very last character in the configuration is pretty simple. It refers to the type of device you are looking at. For instance, 
P is for plug, C is for connector, and R is for receptacle. The NEMA configuration allows you to identify the device at a glance and easily avoids the incorrect type of connection being used. Now we have two basic types of plugs and connectors available here at Greg's. Heavy duty and twist to lock heavy duty. Both devices are UL listed and CSA certified. UL, or Underwriter Laboratories, is an organization which issues certificates of security for many different products. They develop standards and testing procedures for the safety of products or materials. However, UL certification only applies to the United States. CSA, or Canadian Standards Association, is a Canadian group that offers certification for electrical products, mechanical products, or at-risk products in general. This certification is recognized around the world. Now, the heavy-duty plugs and connectors have a crush-resistant nylon body, which is completely insulated. This means no nasty shock when you are using them. And, with the removable cord inserts, the device accommodates a wide range of cord sizes. The twist-to-lock plugs and connectors have an individually molded face for each blade configuration, which keeps debris out of the plug interior. The ribbed nylon housing is impact and chemical resistant, while the beveled exterior prevents snagging if the device is dragged across uneven surfaces. Best of all, these devices have transparent angled wiring entrance holes, which permit straight-in conductor insertion. This means that you do not need to have a twist lock plug to use the twist lock connector. Just make sure they share the same NEMA configuration and specifications. And always remember that if you are using a new plug or connector to replace one that is damaged, be aware of the style, voltage, number of phases, and amperage required for the piece of equipment or machinery that you will be connecting to. And if you're building your own power or extension cords, don't forget to ask us about wiring and cable options. From the toughest of tough, Super Vutron, to the multiple variations of SJOOW, SJTW, and SOOW type cables, we've got you covered. Now, I know that was an awful lot of shocking information about a tiny electrical device. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or on any of our social media platforms. Or you can visit our website at gregdistributors.ca. Again, I'm Kevin, and thanks for watching Gear Up with Gregs.